Welcome back from the final break. This is the third tutorial on the modification and customization of the Android environment using Launcher Pro and Desktop Visualizer as well as many of the other widgets. Like I said before, check out the comments below the channel uh, for anything related to it. Uh, widgets you see here are available on the market as well as the apps, Launcher Pro, and so forth. So make sure you check out the comments below and you can get access to all this stuff. It's right there at your fingertips. Okay, so without further ado, let's go forward. This is going to be a brief customization. It's based on uh, New1757 from the XDA family over there and their community. He created a custom uh, desktop visualizer scheme that allows you to get rid of the functionality of your dock at the bottom. Uh, because a lot of people like the simplistic view and the simplistic font and uh, simplistic function. So I'm going to show you how that's done. Um, it utilizes Desktop Visualizer, Launcher Pro, and um, other widgets that you may find um, necessary for your use. In this case, you're going to need to make sure you set the advanced options in Launcher Pro to five rows. I'll show you that real quick. We'll turn on the device here. Go ahead and get out of the unlock. We click on Menu. Click on your, nope, not settings, I'm sorry. Back it out, menu, preferences, advanced settings, and right here, five rows in the icon home screen. You need to check that. You'll see that it should be green. See the green? Nope, there it is. Nope, oh, right there. Okay, so yeah, you gotta put a check mark in there. Make sure you do that or it won't work correctly. So once that's set you can go ahead and do uh, the HDPI capabilities or use Insight Dash which is what we're going to be demoing today. Um, for all intents and purposes I'm going to use the digital clock widget by Maze which is available on the market. Check the comments if you want it. There's links there too. Cool. Alright so we're going to do that first. First things first I'm going to add that widget up in here. So I'm going to hold on the screen. Brings up my menu. Click widgets. We're going to scroll down until I see the digital clock widget which is right there. So we click on one by four, and boom, there it is. Look at that beauty. Mmm, so pretty. Okay, to show this a little bit better, I want to change the wallpaper of this to give you the full effect of how this whole missing dock is really going to correlate. So we're going to go menu, wallpaper, gallery, and I'm just going to choose something real off the cuff. It, is, it doesn't have to be anything uh, flamboyant. I'm going to choose one of these right here, click save. Um, the importance of this that I would want to uh, annotate and point out is that um, in this event, 90% uh, of what you see on the wallpaper is not going to be there because the way that this is configured and, and created, uh, it gets covered by the icons and their zones. So uh, I'm going to start that right now and show you how it all goes together. So first things first, I'm going to create a new widget. So I hold down on the screen, click Widget, and the next one I'm going to choose is Desktop Visualizer. Make sure you get this from the app uh, market, and um, everything that has been created by uh, the XDA team over there when they created this is 1x2s and 4x1s, and on this device it's a 4x1 because it gets resized down to a 3x1, and I'm going to show you that when we get to it, but let's go with a 1x2 first because we're going to create a 1x2. And it brings up our desktop visualizer icon, which this allows us customization, choosing the image and choosing the action, what it's going to do. So we're going to first select the icon from an image file, since I have it. Click on the gallery. Um, and in this case, we're going to be featuring what you see there. See dash. Uh, that was one of them that they gave us as a capable one to tap play with. My one by twos in this case, since I was able to open it up before I put it on the phone, um, dash is going to be 1x2 icons are uh, phone and text. All my 4x1s, which actually get resized to 3x1s, are browser, gallery, mail, and music. Um, I'll show you that in a minute, but let's go ahead and add one of these. So we're going to add texts to the field. Um, you can see that it shows up up there. Um, we're going to select an I action, and it's going to either be an application, other, or none. We're going to do other because I want it to go to my messages. So you see messages as you scroll, you click it, and it shows what it is. But it automatically put a label in there. We don't want a label. So I'm going to click in the label, and I'm going to nicely back this out of here because I don't care about it because I've already created a label in the image that you saw up there. We're going to downstroke the keyboard out of there. You can give it a touch effect and change its color from orange, light blue, green, and none. In this case, um, I'm just going to leave it. Uh, oops. Uh, I'm going to leave it orange because it's fine. Uh, and then you press OK. On there you have the icon. 
and it takes up a good chunk of the screen. Which is okay. That's fine. So, we're going to go ahead and add another one. And in this case, it's going to be another widget. We're going to scroll through here real quick. And we want another 1x2. And in this case, that one was texts. This one's going to be phone. So we go to dash. We'll click on that. We'll click on action. I know I'm kind of breezing through this, but it's pretty simple. The desktop visualizer makes it really smooth and really easy to choose what you want to do. And in the 1x2s, it's really simple. You don't have to do much uh, other than just clear out what you don't want to have on the screen and then tell it OK. And in this case, we're going to move this one over here like that. We're going to add more widgets. Now comes the 4x1s that I was telling you about earlier. Um, you see the 1x2s go straight up and down, and that's pretty nice, and they, they keep a really good relevance to the screen. So the 4x1s take up all this space here and here and here, so there's nothing left for this. But it's redundant to have the dock down here, so that we usually clear these out. So we just change these shortcuts and blank them. Change, shortcut, blank. Change, shortcut, blank. Change, shortcut, and blank. All right, so now I've got nothing down there, then that doesn't have anything to go with and doesn't have to worry about anything. So now we're going to create a 4x1. Um, and to do this, uh, the 4x1, we're going to choose by holding down widgets. We're going to go through here. You're going to choose desktop visualizer 4x1 in this case. Select your icon, image file from gallery. We're going to click on dash. Um, the first one I'm going to do is going to be mail. We're going to select an action. We are going to do other in this case for me because I have exchange, so I don't need it to open the mail. I want to just open my mailbox. I'm going to edit out my name just like we did before. Close it down. Press OK. And no more room on this home screen. OK, uh, we've got to do a little bit of adjustment. This is what I was telling you about. It gets kind of, kind of funky. So we're going to go ahead and put it up here. So let's redo that again. Apologize for that. 4x1, select icon, gallery, dash, mail, actions. And once you get going through this, it becomes second nature. You'll just do it one after another, after another, after another, after another. Um, all right, so press OK. Now you see how it got so big, and it takes up the space. Well, if I was to put one of these two up here, it wouldn't go anywhere. So this is why you have to have the pro version of Mr. Launcher Pro Plus. We're going to resize this by grabbing it to the actual width of the picture. There you go. Let me close this out. We're going to drag this up so it fits just like that. And we're actually going to get rid of the text one for a second. Um, each one of these 4x1s, we're going to go ahead and uh, add them in real quick. So I'm going to kind of go a little fast, I apologize. But basically we choose each one, image file, from the gallery, dash, browser, launch an application, this one's going to be internet, you can choose whatever internet you want, it doesn't matter, put it OK. Resize, tell it OK, Let's set that one. Now we're going to do another one. 4x1, select image, gallery. Now you can play with this as much as you need to. You could choose 3x1, 4x1. It all depends on what you feel is going to actually work. Um, and in this case, this one says gallery, so. We're going to launch the application gallery for pictures. And, and you just resize things as you need. 3x1 may actually work if you have a device that supports the 3x1. If it doesn't, then just make it a 4x1 like I'm doing. Um, and then resize it down to 3x1. So, I'm trying to make this kind of quick so you guys get an idea. Um, the last one is music. We're going to have this open Pandora because I don't think anything else has 
good music other than this one. And we're going to resize one more time. Set it, then move it, and then comes the last one by two. And that one is going to be the text, if you remember, because we had to remove it because of size and space. So we go up and grab texts one last time. Other messages. And click OK. And actually, that one screwed up, so we're going to quick it real quick. It added the label at the bottom, and I don't like the label. The label is kind of lame. Oops, wrong one. And there you go. That is 100% the XDA HDPI Windows 7 or however they want to call it theme with the resize using Launcher Pro and Desktop Visualizer. They also have a dock down here um, that I will show you that also comes with it if you want to contact Fluxbox Media or look on XDA under new one 757. Uh, he has that available out there. Let's grab the dock that they have. Custom. Uh, I'm trying to find it. Give me a second here. Inside themes. Boom. There it is. And that's what the bottom dock looks like. For a clean, simplistic look. And you can change the wallpaper so that it's solid and you don't have that. I've created some custom ones over here, which you can see. I'm using my voicemail, Gmail, Bank of America, ESPN. Just to give you an idea how it functions. Um, and that is that theme. Um, as Insight calls it, Insight Dash, which is a customization off a new one 757 from andev.org. Um, of its full capabilities. Once again, check the comments below for all the websites and any links that you may have heard of objects, um, applications, or widgets that were featured in today's tutorial. Thanks for viewing. If you have any questions, contact information is also available in the comments. And thanks. Have a great day.